Hello, it's Sandy. Welcome to video number three in the 24 Tags of Christmas series. We're going to be making four more of the tags using paper piecing. I haven't done this in forever and fussy cutting just made me smile, so it's all good. I used the shipping tags die from last year from Ellen Hudson. I think it's last year or the year before. If you want that one, get it soon because they didn't have many left. I don't know if they'll reorder, but it's great for making multiple tags. And I'll be stamping some images from Colorado Craft Company onto the tags themselves on Desert Storm paper. And it's for a specific reason. I've also stamped it onto some red and some white cardstock. And I'm fussy cutting. When I've got it stamped on the Desert Storm paper, the Desert Storm is going to hold those outer edges of the stamped lines. So I can actually split the difference when I'm cutting these out. And I'm going to even whack off things like that little tail. Just chop that right off because I can go in with a pen and fix that later when I get the piecing done. But here I can be less careful than you might normally think fussy cutting has to be because I don't have to worry about that black line being awkward because I've chopped it off when I did my fussy cutting. Same thing with the red. I'm going to let the lines of the stamping underneath of it be the thing that holds the integrity of that line. So it makes it much easier to do the fussy cutting than you might normally think because a lot of people just hate fussy cutting for the reason that they call it fussy because you're doing a little fussy work. But piecing them together is just fun. It's just very satisfying for some reason. And I'm going to stick the the uh, uh, blah, scarf. Yes, scarf. That's the word I'm looking for. It's not winter yet, so I'm not thinking scarves. So I, I stuck it on using liquid glue because liquid adhesive is squishy, which means you can use a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife or some sharp tool to push the thing around while it's still wet. And as I said, anytime you've got a tail or a foot or something that you end up chopping off from the white paper, just draw it back in with a white pen. Nobody's going to know the difference. It's just a tag, right? So I'm going to stick the hedgehog in the same kind of a way that I did the other images and go through the same process with all four. Now, remember, I am doing a giveaway. So you want to comment here on YouTube as well as on my blog for a chance to win one of my tags and make sure you check back in a couple days after this is all over so you can find out if you won. I don't want to have any leftover stray tags stuck behind. So I am doing some additional embellishing to this by using a fountain pen. You can use any kind of a pen to add some faux stitching to the outside edge of my tag. And then of course, since it is me, and it is the holiday season. I'm using my white pen to add some snow. And I'm not adding a huge amount of snow, just a few flakes is enough that you realize these critters are all outside dancing around in the snow as it's coming down and that sort of thing. It's always fun to add a little flutter onto the card itself. For the ties on these, I folded a piece of twine in half and ran it through the single hole in the tag and then pulled the tail ends through the loop. Real simple way to tie a tag end on. And just as I finished these, I realized these things need something to stand on. These little critters need some ground. So I cut my black pen back out and I gave them each a little line for the ground. The one that bothered me the most, the other ones are probably doable, is the mouse laying on his back. He looks like he's falling otherwise because he has nothing he's laying on. I wanted him to be laying in the snow, enjoying it rather than falling to his death, which would be a really bad thing to have on a Christmas tag, wouldn't it? But it worked to add that little detail onto each one of my tags. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you comment here and over on my blog for a chance to win. And I will see you again in the next video, like tomorrow. Bye-bye.